Howdy y'all. Good morning. We are in Southeast Louisiana picking up something pretty important. Honey, what is it? We're getting kayaks. Yay! Who are we working with? Viking kayaks and the person you're about to meet is a pretty awesome cat. We already been talking to him for a minute. He already feels like family, right, Brian? That's right, absolutely. Viking kayak is in New Zealand. Ryan Ford is Viking Kayak USA, which is who reached out to you guys. When he heard that you guys, that the problem that y'all had and the theft and all that, he, he contacted me and said, look, this is what I want to do. And I was like, yeah, let, let's do it. We reached out, y'all answered, and here we are. Man, so, thank y'all so much for doing this. Absolutely, That's pretty sweet. Absolutely, it's and our pleasure. They have multiple models, I think four different models right now. What we're going to do is, is is focused on the Pro Fish GT because that's what uh, Cody and Kelly are going to get. It's a super stable kayak. What makes this particular boat so stable is the bottom. It has a pontoon effect. So you have the bottom, which allows it to, to very smoothly go through the water. But right here, you have like a reverse chine, a pontoon effect on both sides. So what you have is a very stable kayak that sucks down to the water that you can stand in that's not tippy, but also light. So it's only 58 pounds if you saw me pick it up. It's got uh, great storage up front. It's got plenty of room for, for those uh, overnight camping trips. And if you want to put a tent. I can't even touch the front right here. So let's get these bad boys loaded up and we're going to get out on the water. We are in St. Bernard Parish, South Louisiana, Hope Del Marina, and this is my first time kayak fishing. You know, Cody's kayak fish before. Oh yeah. Plenty of times. But I've never kayak fished in a marsh before for no. salt water. I've never fish. kayaked yeah. in a marsh. Yeah. Oh, I haven't either. But we have Brian here with us, showing us around, and showing me how to fish with a bobber. Yep, is that so what it's, it's called? It's a popping cord. Popping cord. Poppin cord. We ain't even been out here in five minutes, and he caught this. What is that? We call them specks, but they're speckled sea trout. They go out and spawn in the Gulf during the summer periods. Usually they're in the marsh in the winter periods. And then around April, May, they go back out in the Gulf. And then they come back in sometime around October, November. So right now, uh, we're catching legal size, which is 12 inches and above. Very exciting because we had this fish the other night and it was so good. So flaky. Delicious. It's like, it's like the crappie of the sea. Yeah, that's a great description. description? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah so we're hoping we can catch enough that we, I can cook some later. That's the plan. And Kelly's about to cast a rod for the first time. So y'all are going to see Kelly fish. This is going to be awesome. You hear that little air compressor. It's a lot like an air compressor or an air pump on a fish tank, and it's keeping the shrimp alive. And it's this little thing right here. It's just putting air bubbles in there like that. What we're fishing with today is live shrimp. You know that shrimp that you eat at restaurants all the time? That gulf shrimp? That's what we're fishing with right now. Let me see, I haven't even touched the live shrimp yet. <gasps> Ding! Whoa, he jumped out. Oh, jump out of the boat? He jumped out of the boat. should probably look Oh yeah, they'll in jump there. out. I didn't know they could do that. Oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Whoa. All right, so he, he got his freedom back. These shrimp were actually caught in this marshy area and resold for bait. Now what he was saying earlier is that this is the horn, a lot like a crawfish that you would see. These are actually related to crawfish. Shrimp are just a longer tail than a crawfish and no uh, pinchers. 
but on this horn right there is his brain and you've got to go on the top side of it top side of it so the top so side right here close to the eyes yep, okay the eyes. Yep, under, the horn. under the horn okay so i want to set kelly up here and what you do is you put it right there so you don't kill it and this is a popper cork yep it's called a popping cork so you, you hear that yeah clacking sound the clacking so that mimics the slapping of predatory fish catching shrimp. Okay. Okay, so the clack and the shrimp make a clap when they, and then the, so if you're actually listening, be able to listen in the water to that, that's what it sounds like. So when you're popping it, the boop sounds like a predatory fish hitting it. The clack sounds like the shrimp running. So when you start mimicking the feeding process, other predatory game fish, because they typically school and things like that, they'll come to check and investigate and then they'll start hitting your your shrimp. So it's kind of like an active bait pod shrimp, whatever that's moving around. So they come to check it out. So that's the popping cork. And on another note, these poles here are to keep us from going down with the current. So Brian over there has one that he's tied to. Right here. Oh yeah, right there. I just stuck it down in the ground. We put a little anchor on it and we put Kelly in between us so we don't keep floating on down the river. Or what is this? This isn't a river. Canal. Canal, there you, there you have it. So I'm just trying to set this up and the shrimp was in the water here and this bit the... So this yep. is a red eared red sun eared perch. Sunfish. People call them uh, lake runners. Real good eat. Real good eat. You can keep that. <laughs> yep, I was I was getting ready to cast and all I did was just feel this thing yanking in my butt. I was like, man, it's a strong shrimp. Yeah. So Cody was getting everything ready and rigged up for Kelly and uh, hung the, the popping cork with the shrimp over the side of the boat and he has caught <laughs> what we call a lake runner. But... uh, You got it? Yep. Okay. A red ear sunfish. So we're gonna put him in the boat. So Brian has a YouTube channel, and what is the name of your YouTube channel? Louisiana Hook and Shoot. You hear that? Louisiana Hook and Shoot. Our tagline is all Louisiana, all the time. So all my fishing, all my hunting is all in Louisiana. All right. All you hear right. That fish in there? <laughs> yeah, that fish is getting it. So that's a chill pod in action, holding fish. Yep. Okay, let's get another one of these shrimp. I'll put the shrimp on there. I'll try to do that. Okay. Hold it open, I want to grab it. Well, it's going to flop, oh. so. Got that? Ooh, okay. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Get it. You hold it. Oh, Babe. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was weird. Ew. Is it shrimp? It's sharp. It was this horn. Okay, maybe I can't do it. I'll just hook it. You hold it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, like the cooking. Yep, there you go. Oh, what do I do now? Uh, babe, <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. Okay. Now what do I do? You just, you want me to cast it for you? No, I don't want to. Well, I don't want to get hit by your cast because you're no. in between us. So. Okay. No, now yank on it. Yank on it. No, hold on. <laughs> what? One pop, real. And you gotta let the pole go down so you can get more of a pop. And then pop it. And then real. Get that slack out. And let it set. You're getting the hang of it. You're getting the hang of it. I'll let your pole go down just a hair. Keep pulling it, babe. Come on. I'll get the net. I'll get the net. Look awesome. at that! Yeah. Go Kelly! Go I didn't Kelly. catch it though. I just reeled it in. That's fine. Holy. Wow, look so at that view. Look how pretty it is. Look how pink it is. Wow. Is that purple? Gosh, that is gorgeous. And look at that tooth. I'm gonna zoom in. Look at that. Look at that tooth. So Brian was telling us you do not grab the teeth or in the mouth like you do on bass. It will jack you up. Look at that. But look how pretty that thing is. Goodness gracious. Kelly, you just caught dinner. <laughs> Absolutely. I was watching Kelly as she was reeling that in. She had the biggest grin on her just face. Just let it sit. How did you feel, babe? That was fun. That is the biggest. Actually, that's your first fish you've ever caught in your life. And that was a great, great oh, size. Really? That was the first yeah. fish? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. Really? You were here for a very important Man, moment. That, I, I'm, I'm honored now. I tell you what. <laughs> So hold it like this and flip it like that. Okay. 
Yeah. And then when you cast out, let let your finger go. So go ahead. Yeah, but don't let fi your finger go until the pole's out in front of you. Now go. Now let go. There you go. Uh, yeah, but it's a good start. Did you hear it yeah. snap? There you go. Go for that. And go up with it. Go up with it high. There you there go. You. Heck yeah, Angel Princess. Man, you're a fishing machine now. Look at you. She's getting good. From here, we're about 30 or 40 minutes from New Orleans. And last year, we did a fan boat ride and vlogged all that. That was a great time. We had a good time. Kelly actually wants... We might do that again tomorrow. Kelly wants to do a fan boat ride again really bad. But we did see alligator. And Brian told us that we are fishing in alligator habitat. There's a very high possibility that we could run into an alligator so we just need to be cautious what are the precautions if we do run into one just usually they're you know unless somebody has been feeding them which is not a good thing a lot of times when when they see you they'll just go down so the one thing you don't want to do is start feeding alligators um and and that causes problems so a lot of times you can slap the water with your paddle but a lot of times just just don't pay them any mind just pay don't pay them any attention and they'll just go their way a lot of times they'll i had one skirt me last year it, it was coming down the canal it saw me went to the other side of the canal and kept a lot like on. a water moccasin snakes yeah, yeah just just leave them alone usually the only time then you start to have problems is when someone has started doing what they shouldn't do which is feed them. feed them and things like that and then they see a kayak coming and all of a sudden it starts ringing the dinner bell for them so they think they need to approach it and that's when things can get dangerous now is one of the coolest experiences of my life this might be one of the greatest days of my life and the reason why is kelly is fishing kelly has never fished a day in her life she doesn't care anything about fishing and she's fishing and she's addicted well i told y'all we're southeast no we're just basically east of new orleans but we are also right east of lake pontchartrain north of the mississippi river so all this water is coming from Lake Pontchartrain and going out to the Gulf. And the way that this is all created is the erosion of all the things coming out of the Mississippi built all this marsh. It laid down dirt over time and it created uh, soot or silt. And it just sat there and it kept compounding on top of itself until eventually it started making these marshes. And it makes for a really dark, rich soil, which is why sugar is such a major crop industry here in Louisiana to begin with. But it creates these beautiful ecosystems where basically fresh water and salt water kind of go back and forth. I forgot the name of that type of water, but if you know what it is, put it in the comments below. I, I think this is awesome. I'm having the time of my life. I really am. Brian got another fish. Oh, croaker. So this is a croaker? Yep. So what exactly is a croaker? Is that so it's an Atlantic croaker. It's a saltwater fish, but they they found it, but you can hear him where they get their name. Wow. That is crazy. This is not big, so we're gonna let him go. Okay. But uh if he was bigger, we would eat him. <laughs> It's just South Louisiana folk, they eat everything. <laughs> That's what I'm laughing about. Oh, it's fast. Oh, man. Oh, it's pretty good, doesn't it? 
So, uh, that's good eating. Right? Catch and release or eat? No, no, no. We're, gonna we're gonna eat that. We're eating that. Yeah. All right. What? It? It's trout. Yep, it's it's trout. a trout. Hold on, hold on. Get it. Hold on. Hold on. Bring it over here towards me. Bring it over here towards me. There you go. Look at that bad boy. Look at you, man. <laughs> you want to hold the fish? No, I'm scared because of the teeth. Who would have ever thought Kelly would be fishing? So Brian's got something big on the hook. It's been dragging across right here. Kelly, you might have to let it. Okay, let me take this. Okay. Grab it right there. Holy moly. And, and get it up under it. Y'all got enough to eat, huh? Oh yeah, geez. We I don't know. We'll see. Video. We'll see how big he is. Dang. So that's a red what? Yep, drum? It's, a, it's a red drum. We call them reds. On a bull red. This is a big one here. Oh, that's the one that we heard making the noise because I hear it. Yep. That is awesome. Tip of the nose. Right at 30 inches. All right, fella, appreciate it. We're gonna let you go and uh, get some more. Catch you on the other. <laughs> there it went. That, that just, that'll make a trip right there, you catch that. And you got the whole fight on video, huh? Yeah. So we're done fishing for the day because we've gotta go cook this stuff up. Oh, we're about to head back to launch and clean these bad boys up. You're, you're flaying them, right? Yes. All right, before we get over to the boat launch to clean these fish, we're going to turn this pump off and let these shrimp go because these shrimp were caught here. Got the boats put on, they fit real nice, but now it's time to see what we caught. We're not really sure everything we lost count, but we got some pretty cool stuff up over here. Is that your fillet knife? Mm hmm. A bubba? Yeah, bubba blade. Man, that thing is nice. Your dad would love to have this. Look at that. Wow. What no? What no limit? That puts you some food on the table for the night. Or not, you have to buy a boat. He's pushing me the whole thing. Oh, we just got the kayak. Yeah. And you said this is what again? Sheep's head. Sheep's head. They have like people teeth, basically. Yep. Oh, Kelly, can we look at this? She's a, she used to be a dental assistant. Are they kidding? Oh, yeah. oh, wow, that's weird. Yeah, they are interesting. Uh, Fish are clean thanks to Brian here. 
But I did remember, and it was Brian who told me what this water is called, where fresh water and salt water mixed together, it's brackish water. So you'll get a mix of freshwater fish, like the bass that we caught today, and saltwater fish like those trout. We want to thank Brian so much, brother. Thank you. We had a blast. Absolutely, absolutely. it's a pleasure. We're gonna be, pleasure. we're gonna come back and fish with him again. Yeah. We're oh, gonna be doing this again. Yeah. And come Kelly's on. gonna get a fishing pole. I am. Believe it or not. <laughs> That's funny. Believe it or not. I like it. I like it. Well, we enjoyed it. Viking Kayaks. We'll make sure to put the link below. They're our new sponsor as well. Anytime that you see us out there on the water, we're gonna be sitting on top of a Viking kayak. And Brian, what was your handle again for your YouTube channel? Louisiana Hook and Shoot. Hook We're all Louisiana, all the time. Oh, I like that, and it's right here on the door. After all day fishing, we are back at camp. Kelly's about to cook these bad boys up, and I know that y'all been asking me to go fishing for Kelly to cook fish. However, Kelly went fishing. Kelly caught the fish. Kelly's gonna cook the fish. I think I caught two, and you caught four. Four. I am so proud of my angel princess though. Look at her. So She's fun. a fisher lady. She's never fished a day in her life. I want to keep saying that again. This is like a moment whenever she started camping for the first time. Kelly going fishing for the first time. But I want to clear something up because I was reading a lot of the comments when we were talking about the 10x10 10 10 canopy. A lot of people are asking us since we got the new trailer, do we have the bat wing awning? Yes. So we still have the bat wing awning. The problem with the bat wing awning is it is a shade awning when it rains if it's just a slight little rain it's fine but if it is a i'm talking a heavy rain which we get a lot in the south um, it's not really predictable that we can get a, just a light rain it's usually a heavy downpour these slots fill up with water and it sags down like a balloon so you have to constantly push them up to get the water out yes we've tried lowering the poles to make it like a slant still happens we've tried fashioning more guy lines here and pulling it down it still pulls with water so the awning is a no-go for rain the best option is to either have a tarp or some sort of canopy you know we live out here so this is kind of our living room our kitchen so we have to find some way <clears throat> to stay out of the rain when it's raining because we still want to cook we want to hang out outside so yes to answer your question, we have the Batwing awning. Um, it only works for shade, not rain. And if you were to drop these poles, what you're gonna end up doing is messing up these yes. knuckles here. So okay. the lower this, the lower that this drops, this puts tension on these plastic knuckles here, and that is very prone to breaking. And you can't have that, because once you get to a certain point, it will break, and we've had four or five break on us now. Yes, we have, we have but i'm going to be cooking with the fish to season the fish i'm only going to use this seasoning here some butter and maybe some garlic to go with the fish i'm going to cook my rice with the almonds and i usually use kale but this time we're going to try it with spinach i had some people say you know they don't like kale i totally understand it um, to me all the greens taste a little bit the same so we're going to try it with spinach and see how that fares another note where are we camping at we are camping at the Bayou Sinet Campground, it's in the West Banks of, it's called West Banks, Louisiana. That's where the campground is located. It's a state park, and we're probably 15 minutes from New Orleans. We've done, what, three vlogs here in the past. Yeah. So if any of y'all want to see our adventures of New Orleans where we went around just the New Orleans area, we'll put the link to those three vlogs in the description below. This is a great campground. We've got great showers. Although, it's a great location. since Hurricane Ida happened, I think late summer, uh, 2020 um, this campground we, was shut down for two months <clears throat> so it was pretty much damaged and you can still see a lot of the damage the ground and it's pretty much tore up and the trees are tore up so it's really sad first thing we're gonna do same thing we do with the kale is we're gonna season the spinach with salt and pepper chop up some garlic Now I'm gonna melt two tablespoons of butter. My butter's melted, we're gonna add in the garlic. Cook that for a few seconds. Now we're gonna add in the rice. On the rice, you just wanna cook it for maybe a minute, 60, 30 seconds, something like that. So you just want it to get a little bit of color. Now I'm gonna throw in my broth. it to a boil 
I'm gonna keep my broth on hand because once this comes to a boil, we're gonna reduce it to a, a medium and cover it and let it simmer. If we need to add more broth, we can. So I've heated my skillet up for the fish. I'm gonna throw in some butter. I'm not sure what is what. We're just gonna cook all of it. Brian, thank you again for cleaning those. Yes. That little uh, fillet knife, legit. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I didn't know they made such a thing. It looks like it's almost done, but there is some parts that are not done, so I'm gonna flip it. That's really uh, almost done. We got some that are done. The rice is done, so we've still got the burner on, but we're going to throw in the spinach and cover it and let it wilt. Looking good. We're going to mix it in. Got one more thing I want to add is almonds. Okay, I think we're ready. Looks good, smells good. I need one of those turntables. Well, that was delicious, and I had so much fun fishing today. Like I said, I'm gonna buy a fishing pole. I cannot believe it. And Brian, you're right. That is one of the most flakiest, white, white taste, white meat, just delicious. Fish. No fishiness, no <laughs> saltiness. It's just beautiful fish. So oh, good. it's so good. One of the best I've ever had. I can't wait to catch more sometime. I know. And Kelly's going to cook it up a different way next time. She's going to do it the old way she used to do her trout. Yeah, it I kind of forgot about that when I was eating it. I was like, there's like, I think there's a different way. But yeah, I know it involved butter and some herbs and. Hey, Rosemary. And we also want to thank Brian for taking us out fishing. And we want to thank Viking Kayaks for being our new sponsor. Those yes. boats are awesome. And we can't wait to stock They're up amazing. on all our kayak camping gear and start kayak camping again. Yeah, I can't wait to do that. It's going to be great. However, we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.